Alright guys, before we start today's video, I would like to announce that I'm in a race with Sunless and Musty to 1 million subscribers. Now you might be asking, how am I going to beat them to a million subscribers? Well, I'm already the closest, and I've seen that half of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's beat them to a million. Next, we're going to be giving away 500 credits in the next couple of days, and all you need to do to win is go in the comment section and comment BAGEL. So, I'm going to be announcing that in the next couple of days, but now let's move on to the video. Alright, what's up fellow Rocket Leaguers? So, you've obviously clicked on this video because you want to learn how to stall on KBM. Obviously, there's going to be so many people clicking on this video because literally everybody who plays Rocket League plays on KBM. It's not like 1% of the player base plays on KBM or anything like, you know, controllers? What? <laughs> controllers are so rare. I mean, but anyways... We're gonna be we're gonna be learning how to stall in two parts, right? Most most videos I've seen about stalling only show how to like do the movement, like just a regular stall, but they don't show you how to implement it into like an actual full shot. So like a stall flip reset or a stall air dribble or something like that. So we're gonna split this into two parts, and first we're gonna learn how to do the mechanic, and then we're gonna learn how to put it into like an actual shot. So here's part one. Alright, so first we're going to actually learn how to do the stall mechanic, which looks like that, or like that. So, what you want to do, so what we're going to start with is that, obviously if you play on KBM, you probably know that Q is your left air roll, E is your right air roll, right? And so how most people learn how to do the movement is, it's just like a combination of holding keys and pressing jump. So you can either hold Q and D, so it makes your car do that, or you can hold E and A, which it makes your car do that. So... I like to choose Q and D because that's just what feels comfortable to me, but you know, you can choose whatever you want. So, the the first step that you do, right, you jump, right, and then after you jump, you hold Q and D, and then after you hold jump and Q and D, then while you're holding Q and D, you press jump. So that might sound like really hard, like what it is, but this is what it should look like. So, like that, and your car should freeze, like that. So, jump, jump, hold Q and D, jump. Jump, hold Q and D and jump. Jump, hold Q and D and jump. So whenever you first do it, you like stay twirling, but as soon as you press the second jump, you let go of your mouse. Like you let go of your mouse completely, or you let go of Q and D completely. You let go of everything. So it should look like that. And your car should just freeze in air. And the quicker you let go of stuff, the, the less your car will move after you do it. So that's how you actually do the stall, all right? So now we're gonna go into how you can use the stall in your shots. All right, so uh, hopefully now you probably know how to do the stall mechanic, you know, with, with minimal movement when you do it, so your car barely moves. So you might be wondering, all right, I can I can stall. What, what's so cool about it? Like, what, what, how does that help me in the game? Well, there's some really sick shots that you can pull if you learn how to stall. Like, here's one that I hit on my Twitch the other day while I was streaming. <coughs> Twitch.tv slash ITCVAB. It's vape. So, you know, here, just check out this clip. Alright. Give me the freaking stall. Oh! Oh! That's a clip! Yes, indeed, that was a clip. But, anyways, you might be wondering, so how do these freestylers and these pros get, like, multiple flip resets in their shots? Well, they have to stall to get them, so pretty much right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to hit a stall flip reset off the ceiling. So pretty much how you start is, obviously, you start with a ceiling shot setup. The United States. Thank you very much. Ceiling shot setup. So pretty much this is how you want to be angled, right? So right under the ball coming off the ceiling. So... Uh, you might not see on the ground, but if you stall like this your car sits immediately still So if you go up for a ceiling shot, right? So I'm going for one and you get your car right under the ball your car will go up like that So pretty much what your objective is is that you want like the center of your car to bounce up back into the ball So you get your reset. So I'm gonna try right now. So you go Bounce your car up. I got my reset and then you get your flip, right? So, 
that's that's pretty much how you do it so it's gonna take a lot of practicing obviously as you can see I don't perfectly have it down but pretty much every time you want to get under the ball stall and get your reset but sometimes you're not gonna get your reset I didn't get my reset there so here here's I'm gonna I'm try to get a successful attempt right now all right so here it is I'm gonna score this one bam reset nope okay cut cut to the next one cut to the one where I actually hit it All right, there we go. Um, <laughs> totally did not take 31 tries or anything, you know, but you get the point. So obviously if you just keep on, you know, practicing, you'll probably, you'll get it down pretty fast. Maybe in a day of just practicing how to just stall, 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 flip reset. So I, I don't really know how to do double and triple resets yet, but I know that after you get the first stall and you get your reset, you just keep stalling under the ball. And that's how, that's how you get the, that's how you get the resets. So pretty much that's how that's how you stall, how you perform the shot with the stall. So if this helped you, you know, go down below, drop a comment, like, you know, obviously like I said in the beginning, subscribe. <laughs> we gotta beat Musty and Sunless Con. But uh yeah. So Nick, can you knock on your desk really hard so we can, you know, roll the outro? Oh yeah, what did you say? Just smack on your desk really hard, bro. I finish, I'm just getting started. I pull up my penis, that bitch go retarded. She gon' let the tip of my ass while I'm farting. I sneak her and creep, what's another hard carpet? I might be just tripping, but nigga, I'm talking. Give me a room with that whole shit and walking.